My name is Theo van den Brucke and I am the Senior Style Editor of British Esquire. I'm here today at the Swatch Lounge at LCM to answer some of your style questions. I'm Charlie Teasdale, I am the Deputy Style Editor of Esquire. I'm here to answer your style related questions that you've been sending in on Twitter. LCM, or London Collections Men, is a very exciting time of the season for us at Esquire because it gives us a chance to see what's new and all the trends from the young British designers. The great thing about LCM is that the small, young, emerging designers are put on the same pedestal, if you will, as the big designers, so you really feel as though you could potentially be seeing something that is going to be big in the next season, maybe in the next 10 years. It's fantastic. Next season, so if we're talking Autumn Winter 15, which is being shown at the moment, I would say the big tip is alpaca, soft tailoring, oversized overcoats and many shades of grey. So brown shoes with a dark suit is absolutely possible but it's a case of getting the shades right and getting the contrast right. Navy, dark grey, brown, fantastic. One rule though is black and brown, not good. For a long time a tighter trouser was very de rigueur. Right now it's much more about a looser tapered style. I would say anything that clings anywhere on your leg is a bad shape of trouser. So opt for something that's looser at the top tapered at the bottom in a nice sumptuous fabric as opposed to something cheap and nasty. Is it ever okay to wear your tie loosened at the neck? No, it's not. If you're going to wear it, wear it properly. If you're not, just go open neck. It's much smarter. Blaze is a big news right now, as is uh, slouchy deconstructed tailoring. So I would opt for something in boiled wool or um, mohair or alpaca or even a cashmere from a brand like Massimo Piombo or Brunelli Cuccinelli, two Italian tailoring houses that really know how to do deconstructed tailoring. There's a big birthday coming up and when this happens there's often the urge to change your look quite drastically. My advice would be to hold back on that, try and focus on subtlety and quality. You'll be comfortable and you'll look better, absolutely. London has always been a very creative place, you know, we've got Savile Row here, the heritage is incredible, but there's also constant fashion, constant trends, constant reinvention, and it's an incredible place to be in terms of creativity.